lane zero for this race. Then WPI next to them in lane one, Smith in lane two, Mount Holyoke in lane three, Coast Guard in lane four, Simmons in lane five, and Clark on the near side in lane six. Uh, this race and the previous second varsity race, this race is seated. Uh, the crew in the far lane received the most votes in the coaches poll and was seated first, so that's Wellesley. WPI seated second. Smith third, Mount Holyoke fourth, Coast Guard fifth, Simmons sixth, and Clark seventh. So if the previous racing of the spring and uh, the seating and polls are correct, we should see a echelon of crews, starting with Wellesley poking its head out in front, all the way over to Clark here on the near side, um, but that rarely happens. And that's why you have to race. Polls are great, but you still have to actually do it to see who wins. So the aligner on this side is getting the aligning done. Again, we can't see the flag, so our cue will be when we hear the starter announcing the cruise from the far side over to this side. And when the red flag goes up, we'll know it's start time. All the crews are positioned. We have alignment. I heard the aligner state that. Starter is polling the crews, or announcing the crews, I should say. And we have a start. And as the crews come out into the brightening skies and beginnings of sunshine, there's no clear leader here. Clark, Simmons, Smith, WPI out to the early lead. Wellesley on the far side, a deck down to WPI. Smith in lane three, even with Wellesley. Mount Holyoke in lane four, a deck down to Smith. Coast Guard, three quarters of a length down to Mount Holyoke, with Simmons a half length up on Coast Guard, and Clark only two seats down on Simmons. WPI out to the early lead by a deck and a couple of seats on Wellesley. WPI at 38. Wellesley at 34. This looks like the beginnings of a real humdinger. WPI isn't going to wait around and feel sorry for themselves. They're going to take it to them early and see if it can hold up. WPI strokes 35 and a half. Up by three seats on Wellesley as we approach the 500 meter mark. WPI through at 138 with three seats on Wellesley. Those two crews almost a length on the rest of the field now. It is WPI and Wellesley now with a full length. They have broken contact with Smith. Smith by three seats over Mount Holyoke. Mount Holyoke three quarters of a length over Simmons. Simmons by two seats over Clark and Clark by three seats over Coast Guard. Back up in the front. Wellesley now starting to assert itself. Wellesley rowing at 34. WPI overstroking at 37. Trying to hang in there. In order to qualify for the AQ, they need to win this race. WPI at 36. Wellesley at 33. Wellesley now with almost one half length on WPI. WPI hanging in there, but Wellesley seems to have hit a bit of a groove here. They are taking seats. Wellesley's lead is now three quarters of a length. They have a serious, serious move in process here. We'll stay with the leaders for a little while to see how this breaks out. Wellesley at 34. The Wellesley coxswain has looked over. She is on the bow of WPI. 
It may be statement time here, folks. Wellesley in a good serious move here in the second 500 at 34. Very linear here, very linear. No up and down motion. They have taken a length now, a half a length more in the last 20 strokes, and they have open water on WPI. Can't really tell from this side of the lake whether they're going faster, WPI is going slower, or some combination too, but in the last 40 strokes, the lead has gone from a half length to a length and a half. They have broken this open. WPI's lead on Smith is a half length of open. Smith with almost a full length on Mount Holyoke. Oh, pardon me, a half length on Mount Holyoke. They're pretty far over on the other side. And then we have a great race down in the back of the pack for five, six, and seven. Coast Guard, after a shaky start, has reasserted itself. Hanging in there with Simmons is actually past Simmons. Simmons is now the trailing crew. Clark and Coast Guard about even with Simmons trailing by about three seats. As we move back to the front of the pack, Wellesley is now dominant two lengths at least of a lead over WPI in a, pardon me, in a comfortable cadence. Wellesley has dropped their rating to 32. They're in cruise mode now. WPI at 36. And Smith has started to creep back a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit on WPI. That lead WPI had over Smith of a length and a half is now more like a length and a quarter. And Hol Holyoke, Mount Holyoke, just seems to be drifting along. Not that they're not working hard, but they seem to be joined to Smith here. Both crews have moved up on WPI a bit in the last 25 strokes. We'll see if that's a if that's a trend or if that's a one-off. Really feel WPI went out to win this and they expended a lot of energy trying to stay with Wellesley in the early going and W or excuse me, Mount Holyoke and Smith's plan might have been a little more conservative. They're still hanging in here. Smith now has almost three quarters of a length on Mount Holyoke and as we go to the back we now have separation Simmons has fallen back, and we've got a great two-boat race here between Clark and Coast Guard, and it looks to me like these two crews are virtually even. We will get them at the end of the race. We will not be able to catch up with Wellesley in the lead, but we're going to pan up for a final look at Wellesley as they near the finish line, 250 meters to go. They look crisp. They look clean. Still at 32, 32 and a half. Their lead over WPI is now probably three lengths. WPI's lead over Smith and Mount Holyoke has stabilized at about a length and a third. Smith has about a half length on Holyoke, but Holyoke's not going away. And we'll see how it shapes up here in the last 250 meters. But Wellesley's lead is insurmountable. They will be the Varsity A champion, and they will also be the NUMAC AQ for the NCAA tournament in four weeks. We'll look for a winning time here. We're at 640 right now. They're probably 10 seconds from the finish. We'll watch for the flag drop. WPI will be second. At about 7.13. And this race between Holyoke and Smith, too close to call. Bang, bang. From our angle, hard to tell. 7.21 for both crews. I think Mount Holyoke nipped him at the end, but I'm not sure. And Clark and Coast Guard in a good race here. Coast Guard will take Clark at 7.33, Clark 7.36, and the trailing crew, Simmons. At about 7.46. All times unofficial, but to the best of our knowledge, that's how it turned out. Thanks very much for watching. It's been a great morning of NUMAC racing. Stay tuned on local for the dual races.